Okay. So what we have done yesterday, until yesterday, we have done the configuration for the dispute management. Now today, let's see the how to create the dispute case. Let's see. let us have a look at once again the configuration let us revisit i think we have already completed financial supply chain management dispute management process integration with the accounts payable then integration with the sap bill or direct that is not required customer enhancement Claims management integration with the claims management. This claims management, if we have integration. Assignment of open credits and payments. Activation of assignment of open credits and payments. It's a credit. If you want to make anything, then define payment, payment advice. That is analysis of payment related. Then let's see. Now, so as I said, first of all, how to create the dispute cases? There are three ways are there, three or four ways are there to create the dispute cases. First, let us see the FBL 5N. How can we create? Let me take the company code, execute here. So let's say I have these two customer line items. Now, if I want to create a dispute case on behalf of this document 18003 system environment accounting display correspondence credit management. Sir, in right set, uh, we have disputed here. Pass changes. Where? Mr. Right set, right? In little bit, bit low, there is right set create. Yeah, dispute. here it is there. Uh, here also it is there. Here also it will come. Okay. Here it will come. Okay, directly we can create, but here in the header options also we can see that option. But from here also we can see now create dispute case. See now. The same function we try to use a couple of days back. If you remember, the system was throwing that error. The reason being that the dispute management we have not activated for our company code. Then, so that could be the reason. Once all the configuration in place. Then we can do the con then we can able to create the dispute case now. Now you can see here. <laughs> so here. Let's say I want to create a dispute case. On behalf of this line item. Then there could be a scenario here, one to one relation. With reference to this document, I'm creating the dispute case. Let's say I have the scenario. I have around, I mean, I want to create for this entire customer open items, irrespective of the line item. So at this point of time, what I would require, I would like to create the dispute case for all the customer line items. I don't bother about the line items, how many line items are there. Either it's a credit memos, debit memos, whatever, advances, whatever it may be. But here, I want to create for total line items. Or for some particular selected line items. The situation could be a 
multiple line items then we can have a one dispute case for multiple line items also create a dispute case you can closely observe here one thing how we can identify the amount here amount is a very important here if you see here the amount is a 109999 even if you have the n number of line items here also then we can able to create dispute case one dispute case for all those line items also yesterday or during the configuration so the title let's say dispute for dispute for let's say delay delay in goods delivery customer has raised a concern stating that that the dispute to be uh, to be raised on behalf of these two line items because they have delivered delay in the goods as per the expected timelines then why you want to raise the dispute case then what could be the reason either you know or do not know see now it's unknown damaged goods late delivery for what could be the reason why you are raising the dispute case then select the late delivery category what is the category let it come the options it is too much slow okay let me create the new gui okay so now you can see here customers category which i am classifying here it's a local customer or pre or prime customers or medium customer let's say so based on this category then i can able to understand okay how to take a decision then priority is a very important one here what is the priority of this dispute case either it's a low priority medium priority emergency or high priority then let me select is a emergency then processor who is the processor is a responsible let me select okay even it will not appear but uh, <clears throat> company let me give the cost center and username only these are the restrictions are available then i can give see now it's appearing okay to whom you want to give you can select from the drop down list but you should know the sap user id of that processor then the external reference number if you have any external reference number just give that number then person re person responsible who is the person is a responsible for this one then process deadline so now today i am creating this dispute case what is the deadline to process this dispute case or to take it into the next level let me give the date deadline so today is the 2nd of august let me give the date is a let's say is a until friday okay so meaning that until friday i will wait or else until friday i can do the investigation internally because since the customer has raised a concern 
the goods got delivered delay whether it is true or not because the processor doesn't know he will communicate internally to the to the transport department or sales department he will coordinate then he will get the required information then he will communicate that information to the customer so in order to do all these activities he would required another 2 3 days time that is what up to the when he is expecting to communicate back to customer or close to the dispute case then contact person who is the contact person from this customer point of view let's say here is the nokia the person i mean this is a customer but who is the employee let's say abc okay let's say ram is the contact person if you have a fax number you can you can update here the email id if you have you can update it telephone number if we have the telephone number we can update it now you can see here long text here load local file i mean this is under save now internally checking with the sd and transportation department i mean departments so just whatever you want you can write it then save the dispute case uh, this fields are standard or we can define this fields or we can no 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 it? these and all if you remember text fields and all okay if you remember the text we have done the configuration 001 002 correct okay, there are multiple text sir we have configured that is the configuration activity based on that configuration system will enable those fields <laughs> but with with help of technical team we can enable if we want to any additional fields okay here we cannot enhance the fields um, by configuration no 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 okay. that is those the part the of yes those are the standard yes okay let's say i have created the dispute case here okay now maybe i am creating the dispute case let's say somebody maybe mohanty may i mean some uh, somebody will come into picture again he again he is trying to create the dispute case on behalf of this particular line items so sure. let's say what system will say see what system is telling that item 18003 trm is already included in the dispute case so, so now if okay if you define at a customer level also it will give no 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 see you cannot create customer level first of all the disputes okay so okay. for multiple line items you can select how many line items would okay. you like to uh, part in that dispute then you can select but customer okay. level we cannot create okay 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 then how to display the dispute case see now okay. let me go to the the fury app here manage dispute cases s4 uh, 21 so these are the uh, uh, not through easy access no no it's not the easy, no easy access ways also you can display okay gui okay. level okay let me show you that one the gui if you go to here mm -hmm. counting financial supply chain management dispute management dispute case processing case mm -hmm. 
dispute case. Find the dispute case. Let's see. Find the dispute cases or my dispute cases. Maybe documents, you know, it is there. No, 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 it is not there. But let's see. At the Fury app level, it will display because of some inconsistency configuration that is not oh. appearing. Yeah, okay. but it should appear. Let us display here. Person case model. My dispute cases, it's a small correction is to be required. This one, the case type F underscore DM is the reason it is not okay. It is very managed dispute. Manage dispute case. Let's see. So manage dispute cases as a processor, as a responsible. OK, let me display the manage dispute case open. Processor, let me give the this for Hana to one. So now you can see here, this is the dispute case what I have created. Now you can see the customer. Let us have a look at the customer once again. So the same customer. 30,030 and you can see the line items of the amount 10949 here. The same amount what we can able to see here. Then okay. let I'm just going and displaying here once again. So the dispute case number 2121, the dispute case number what it has created. You can see this is the case ID. See, now I would like to update some nodes here, internal nodes. I can able to update the internal nodes. You can see here, the, what are all the fields, editable fields? You can see, first of all, if you observe closely, okay, internal nodes and all, that is secondary. As soon as once I create the dispute case, what is the current status here? The status is a new status. Mm. So 
no one has this got assigned to none of the user or none of the processor so first it should be transferred to the see now you can observe here let me being processed or to be requested so being processed in the sense somebody is working on this one this is the system status to be requested i am requesting some other some additional information let's say being processed so it is under in progress who is the coordinator see he is the processor fine but who is coordinating between business and customer and organization let's say he is the department head processor then he is assigned to the some ex person as a coordinator coordinator his job is that he need to communicate to the customer then he need to get inputs from customer then he need to update then if if there could be a then you can assign the coordinator then processing deadline process deadline we have already selected this one during the dispute case creation this one is the planned to close date when you would like to close the dispute case here let's say i want to close this dispute case until this friday or you can give whatever you want if there could be a situation you can give otherwise even you can extend this one later on also once you can save this one you can extend this one then so the contact person email this is the section then external reference number you can change it later on then root cause code see now case solved user updated wrong details okay even we can create a root causes also multiple root causes this is the configuration activity where we need to do that priority what is the priority one moment one moment somebody yes, is sir, can you can can you allow ravi he is waiting okay okay one moment one moment let him let me admit him please okay so one moment uh, one moment i'll just i'll just come back just one one second one minute only yeah
Okay, sorry, I am back. Okay, so here the reason once once we create the dispute case, if you would like to change any reason, let's say somebody has given the wrong reason, then we can select appropriate reason. But this authorization will have only the dispute processor. Coordinator and all does not have this authorization. Then root cause of the code. So here we have already discussed about this one. Then what would be the priority of the dispute case here? Priority. Then person responsible. Who is the person responsible? Let's say so the person responsible. Let's say the dispute case here. I am the processor. Then I need to get some information from the sales department or transport department. The reason what we have mentioned is a late delivery. Whether is it the reason is true or not? I would require some additional information from the respective person. Then I can include that person name. Then in case I'm not getting any information within the or within the organization or the dispute case I have created, let's say for payments. Then customer is not responding back. I can do the escalation also to the next level. I will take it this one into the next level. Should be a customer call or Timeout. I mean, we have contacted customer multiple times. Timeout. We have given enough time to customer. Still, customer is not responding back. So the business is ended with us. Time limit is exceeded. Then warning before expiry of the time limit. So this and all configuration activities. These are. So even we can map additional escalation reasons also we can create. Then if you come down here. Again. You can see more closely observe here. What are the documents which we have used to create this dispute case? Again, you can view the business partner from here. Then you can view also here disputed the line item each and every. If you want to see the line item of that, then you can view from here also. Then attachments, I think, OK, it is taking time, but it should display. OK, so now if you would like to <coughs> edit some or if you would like to add some internal notes, see now. The document is displayed here. You would like to add some internal notes here. You can add here whatever internal notes you want to hear. Then you would like to add some attachments here. You can see here. Just click on the add link or click on this one. You can attach the documents also. Whatever you want. Then go back. So now after doing this one, you can do the changes. See now even you can do the attachments here also drag and drop also here also it is available. But here if you do the attachment this one, keep in mind this will be applicable for your entire dispute case. Let's say my requirement would be a I want to assign particular document then you can assign the way how we have seen. There are n number of ways are there. Let's say. Internal notes again, you can update. Customer contacted. Okay, or else you can write it is a assigned to. 
assign to responsible person responsible person or else awaiting responsible person information and put it right it awaiting to the rest awaiting to the responsible person in inputs i'll put it like this then you can save changes you can see here create a email template we'll see that one later on you can able to wide this dispute case also first let me save the changes see what are the fields appearing here also we can add or that is also standard sir which the one which one whatever. could you please uh, come again title category status coordinator yes yes exactly this and all it's a standard we cannot add a new field no no yes. so new fields in the sense again see you if it is a title here it is appearing from here to you can move left, right side and all but if you would like to add additional fields again there is a separate configuration it is there we have already talked about we need to oh, go yeah, back that, and that is the to... one okay okay yes yes uh, but yes. while creating it uh, dispute case we don't have we have to enhance here but this yes. this one we can change it exactly yes we can change it okay we can change we can change that one see as soon as yes okay in anything would you like to uh, so now you saved it sir now if you put void dispute case what will happen why did dispute case in the sense this dispute case will be wide okay it's not the valid okay, okay. automatically it will go okay. okay so then now you can see here the dispute case i'm just displaying here yeah. then now you can see the option create email template option okay which is appeared now let's say let me click on this template see now mm -hmm. we have talked about right a while ago mm -hmm. you can see how this is being appeared see dear mm -hmm. sir or ma'am mm -hmm. this is the standard configuration i mean standard what sap has been provided okay. if you want to change this one also mm -hmm. you can able to do the changes here but this we cannot change we need to work with the technical team in order to do the changes this okay. one this is the standard template what sap has given see now including that i mean amount and all and the dispute case with the number this is the external reference number it's not capturing the internal reference reference number please please check here okay the sap we have the number is a 21 if you see here the dispute case my dispute case if i uh, if I, if i cancel this one see my dispute case number is a case id is a 21 but external reference number this is a external reference number which is capturing remember please observe here which hmm. field information it is capturing but uh, what, what is external what does it mean sir external reference number see external it? reference number is a customer the moment when he call okay let's say for customer based on customer number or we will give some identification number okay or else uh, externally i have a some other system uh -huh. okay externally i have a some other system where i am creating uh, maybe from the web okay mm -hmm. let's say i have a web system web portal also let's mm -hmm. say from uh, it's a uh, uh, amazon amazon platform or flipkart platform if you create the mm -hmm. dispute case that is not maybe syncing with the sap okay because that number is differ sap number is differ okay it is my internal reference number this is my external reference number that could be also possible Okay, in such situation, so the system, but at the moment, whenever user has created the dispute case, this number with customer, this external number will have the, I mean, with customer. But if okay. that is the case, it should be updated here also. It should be updated here the proper external reference number if that could be the case. But that we can do automation. Okay, in okay. case if yeah, that we can do the automation. There is no issue in that. 
that. Now, if you can see here, recipient to whom we are sending, we just need to enter the email ID. If you would like to wish to enter the CC, you can enter. See, now you can see subject also, which is automatically system is bringing even without a manual intervention. Then here, message to customer dispute case. OK, now enter your own text. These text information, whatever the information which you are going to enter, it will not trigger to the customer. Only this information only will be sent to the customer. It will not. This is your own notes. The own notes which you are going to write, maybe I have already communicated to the customer with mail, by mail communication. Or internally checked, I mean, SD department, it's a previous notes. This is the current notes, what you are writing. Okay, sending mail, sending mail to customer for Customer on dispute case. This is my only internal. It's not the external. Then see now as soon as until if you enter, then even the save option, which is not appearing. I'm sorry, send the email option. Because if I enter somebody's name here, ABC underrate gmail.com but it should require see now the option is enabled here send email option if you see here before that it was not enabled the reason being that because the uh, the system is looking for the rest i mean uh, to email id so now you can send or you can communicate this information it will be available here let me send just Testing purpose only. Let's see. Now, email sent successfully. Then, let's say you can see here there is a see save as a title, send email, even from here also. Okay, let's say let me select this one. That is create email, send email. So the send email, if you would like to send the email communication through the Outlook, through the Gmail, if you have a such scenario, you can select this option so that you can able to send. I mean, if you do not want to send from here, just I'm just refreshing this one. Let's see. See now, you can see that history has sent an email, ABC Gmail, subject notification to the customer. We have already sent the email communication also to the sir, customer. Uh, sir, Even uh, yes, sir, question. Uh, sir uh, can we make the uh, mail option automatic means if customer having that mail ID? So can it is automatically pick up? Which one? This this automatic. No, that, that is okay. I mean the recipient means uh, to whom we send the mail, the mail ID, right? Generally the mail ID is maintained in the yes, yes. See this mail ID. If you maintain this mail ID here, if you see here, I have not maintained the mail ID here, appropriate mail ID. Again, uh -huh. see see. You can able to mention only the R. We can maintain only single mail ID here. Let's say I want to communicate to him or his boss and his entire team. Then if I maintain only one email ID, let's say you will talk about your scenario only. We can automate whatever the email ID here is appearing that should be picked up. But now let's say I want to communicate to the multiple peoples. Then again, again, that will be problem, right? Yes, sir. yes. Okay. So that is the case. Better we can choose the 
email id is to whom we want to send that communication okay. that so this is uh, i mean the dispute case let's say if you want to make it as a wide dispute case you can able to wide it but the moment when you select this wide <coughs> the no longer will be appear that dispute case here but i mean it will be appear but the reason will be i mean uh, what we can able to see the status is a wide the dispute case let me post the one the one more document and we'll see that one okay i mean directly we should not do this one let me post this one more document with the reference of this one see now express document cannot be sent to notification with an internally there is a some inbox communication which we have received customer line item post with the reference let's see let me enter the amount let me post this document so document 8018005 has been posted here let me refresh this one so 18005 which has been appeared here let me create the dispute case this one put the reason Okay, let me select the user mistake. Category, so medium. The priority is a medium. Let me select this one. Processor. Let me give here. Then contact person is a. <clears throat> then email ID just. whatever you want you can give the text save it let's say the dispute case has been created here let me display this one here also okay whether the system see now 22 that dispute case what it has created now you can give the process deadline first you can change the status is a being processed then save changes let's say user has done the mistakes on wrongly created then you can go for the wide dispute case let me select this one see now are you sure want to wide this dispute case yes let me select okay remember 22 the case 22 which i have wided here see dispute case saved successfully now let me go back see now dispute case 22 which is not appearing in my list it is in open, it is not in the open state first of all let me give the state is a 20 22 22c it is not in the open list because since <laughs> it is already wided here see now processor because it's already been closed the status if i can go and see the the status will be available but status already been closed so it is not appearing in open state only this is the dispute which is in open state let's say let me give the customer number e 
even though you can see here only one dispute case which is appearing because the one the previous one it is not the valid one i mean first of all no need to see that one okay because we have already widened that one it is not appearing in my open list only at this moment this is the open state then let's say the customer had made the payment on behalf of this line items total line items let's see whether the system is closing this dispute case by automatically or not see the status it should not be the status new the condition number 1 remember the condition number 1 it should be being processed if the status is new based on the configuration system will not allow you based on the automatic dispute case configuration remember if you want you can test this scenario okay so if the status is new i am sure 100% sure system does not allow you to i mean system will not close let me see now just to refresh this one nothing is been now let me go for the clearing i want to clear these two line items let me clear the line items slash n f dash 28 <coughs> bank account amount i don't know at this moment value date let me put it this one yes so i will i will deactivate this one this is the amount which i want to clear then let me go to the change difference enter then process the open items so now my assigned amount and my entered amount both are same here document simulate it so now this is the bank account is debiting customer is crediting here let me save this one post document has been posted here let's see what about the dispute case first let us check the customer line items so the the two line items got cleared let's see the dispute case where is the dispute case see because we have cleared the payment see now there are no open dispute cases if you see here there are no open dispute cases the system has been closed the dispute case automatically without manual intervention see based on the configuration this can be done based on the configuration only let's say if this is the line item is open state okay let's say this is the line item let me create the dispute case for this one let us try now testing i'll give any one reason priority let me give is a one any 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 priority just for testing only processor let me you here testing let me save this one see now dispute case has been created dispute case 23 please ma, please understand here the dispute case status is a new okay the status is new let's say customer made the payment 
let me clear the customer payment. Let's see what system does. 2,50,000. Anyhow, we know that amount. I am straightforward. I am giving. So now assigned amount, entered amount, both are same. Document simulate post. Document is posted. See now. The document it is completely cleared. There are no open items. For that particular customer. So this is the document what we have cleared now. Then. Let's see the dispute case. <clears throat> what it will happen. See. Even. You can refresh it. The system did not process or did not close this dispute case automatically. The reason being that the status is new. From where this configuration is pertaining? Let me show you this one once again. Automatic uh, closure exactly. something configuration. Exactly. That is even yesterday I have explained. It's a very, very important one that configuration. <clears throat> Financial supply chain management, dispute management, <clears throat> integration, automatic document changes for the dispute cases. Define. Oh, sorry, not this one. Automatic write of edit. No, no, not this one. Not this one. Let me check here. Dispute case. Dispute case process correspondence web services define number ranges process integration automatic document changes then define trigger attributes for the not this one define automatic status changes if you can see here this is the configuration where Process integration define automatic status changes here. If you see here, what I have done the configuration here, if the status yes. is 20, what is the 20? In case if I would have configured the status is a 10, then in our situation exactly it is matching, then system would have closed this dispute case. But that is not the best practice. Let's say I, somebody has raised the dispute case. It is not, I mean, the action is not yet taken. Even somebody has not yet looked into that dispute case. But how can we say, how can we close the dispute case? There should be a proper or valid reason to be required. Because in our earlier case, we have raised the dispute case. Then we have received amount from the customer. Then it got closed based on this configuration. This is a configuration. It is a very important one. The moment the system, I mean, if I do the changes from new to being processed or any status from 20 to 30 in between the status, I mean, 21, 20, 21, if I if I if any status system will find these two statuses. Then automatic close the, the dispute case to be closed automatically, but this is pertaining 